Hey there. I just wanted to make a quick video to demonstrate how to use Quadrax to make a generative Krell style patch. So when I'm making a new patch with Quadrax, I like to go into, a C, uh, go into CV assignment mode, press the top left and bottom right buttons until they flash blue. That clears all the CV assignments and then I know I'm starting with a blank slate. Uh, so we're going to use channel one in LFO mode. Um, so when you tap the right button to make it purple or magenta, that's LFO mode. I'm going to go directly out of the output of that channel. And we'll just turn it up so we can hear it. Uh, so it's an audio range. You can use the rise knob as your tuner. Shape controls, uh, shape and fall both control the wave shapes. So you can get your different tones that way. And we'll go into CV assignment mode, selecting CVA for channel one, and select level. And we want that to be green. We don't want it to be a 10, uh, uh, we don't want it to be inverted. Um, so that's muted the output because there's nothing connected to CVA. And we're gonna use channel two. Oops, we're gonna set it to green so it's in cycle mode. Uh, so channel two, is going to provide our level control. So if we go out from channel 2 to CVA, we're basically using that as our VCA control. Um, and this determines the timing of the notes. So that's a good start. Next, what we want to do is generate our random melodies, and we're going to use channel 3 for that. We're going to set it to purple, but then press and hold it to go into the alternate LFO mode. This is LFV mode, or Low Frequency Vacillator. Uh, this was introduced in version 1.1 of the firmware, so you'll just want to make sure your... Uh, if you're not sure what version of the firmware you're on, you'll, you might want to update to the latest version. So. We're going to go into CV assignment mode, but we want to use CVB. We're going out from channel 3 to CV to the CVB input, and we want the we want this input to control the rise of channel 1. So now channel 3 is basically moving that rise knob for us. And so now the rise control on channel 3 determines the rate of random melodies. You get more stepped uh, randomness counterclockwise on shape, and more smooth uh, randomness if it's clockwise. You get less variation if fall is counterclockwise, more variation if it's uh, clockwise. So. These are pretty wild random melodies, um, so I'm going to go back to CVB and let's just attenuate that a bit. And while we're here, um, I'm also going to use the CVB input uh, to control... Let's use it for shape. So now we're getting random modulation of the wave shape. And we can kind of attenuate that or inverted if we like, and why not? We can apply it to fall as well if we want. Um, so you can kind of, you know, dial this into taste. And we're also going to use that uh, random control on channel 2. So CVB on channel 2, we're going to use that to control the fall. So it's also going to, so the random uh, melodies are also going to control the timing. We want this one to be inverted, and so what that means is higher voltages are going to turn the knob counterclockwise instead of clockwise. And so what that means is higher uh, voltages are going to produce higher notes, but also faster notes. That's kind of how Krell patches tend to work. And if you want, you can apply that to the rise as well, so you'll get uh, even more variation. And actually, it sounds really cool if you apply it to the shape, too. And we can invert that as well. Oops. 
and you can, you know, dial them in as you like. Yeah, so now we have a basic curl patch going. Another thing you can do is set uh, channel 3 to end of fall, so now when this guy completes, it's going to sync the timing of your fluctuations. So you can get a lot of variation by playing with the controls here um, to, to get different rhythms, different timbres. Um, but of course you can also expand this with uh, other modules like filters, quantizers, effects. Um, and if you have the QX expander, you can use that to sync other, other functions or other modules in your system. So yeah, hopefully you found this uh, useful and it gives you some ideas to try. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now I've expanded on that curl patch and I've added uh, scales for quantization, orgasmatron for filtering, uh, spring ray, rainmaker, and FX aid for some effects, and uh, just a, a Dixie LFO uh, for some modulation. So it's still Quadrax uh, generating all the melodies and uh, all the and acting as the VCO, but uh, yeah, you can see how you can expand on it to make it more interesting. Thank <laughs> you.